and welcome to the new improved much shorter version of the black founders mini lecture you will see here a photograph that i took of the african hall in boston which is a place where founders we've discussed including john merritt and his friend prince hall who you might know of as the founder of the masons would give speeches and lectures, and Frederick Douglass also lectured here much later, obviously. The Black Founders is an important unit because this class is a REACH class. There is actually a law in South Carolina that any state-funded institution must teach a class about the Constitution and founding documents and it specifies the founding documents that you will see on our syllabus. It says, actually, the only thing the REACH Act says is that you must read these founding documents. So they're on the syllabus, if you look, and uh, supposedly you will read them. But I do not quiz, assess, or anything about them. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Meanwhile, I think our black founders deserve great attention as well. So I mentioned Prince Hall, who was the founder of the African Masonic Lodge. And this is another picture of the African Meeting House, which we just saw the inside of. Phyllis Wheatley and, um, I'm sorry, Phyllis Wheatley, John Merritt, and Samson Ockham, the American Indian man to whom Wheatley with whom Wheatley corresponded, all have this connection to the minister that Merritt talks about in his sermon, whose name is, escaped my mind at the moment, and a wealthy heiress. So this is the heiress, the Countess of Huntington. She's English, and she gets all of her money from slavery, and she uses that money to finance George Whitfield in the Second Great Awakening so he can save souls in the South. And John Merritt actually experiences conversion in a meeting hall in Charleston, South Carolina, when George Whitfield is preaching. This guy is also friends with Selena, the Countess of Huntington, and George Whitfield. He is supposed to build a Native American school with money from Selena, but instead he starts Dartmouth, Dartmouth University. And Although Lemuel, had, Lemuel Haynes had a chance to go to Dartmouth, he chose not to. There is Dartmouth, um, something that was built instead of an Indian school, as you can see. Samson Ockham was supposed to run this Indian school, but Ockham, like many other early Americans of color, was betrayed by Eliezer Wheelock and other whites who were getting money from slaveholders to begin with. So one of the interesting things about Phyllis Wheatley's story, in my opinion, is that for hundreds of years, people believed Phyllis Wheatley's husband abandoned her and she died in poverty. Recently, a poet named Honoré Fanon Jeffers did some research and found no evidence of that, but a white woman who wrote a, who wrote a biography of Wheatley told these ter terrible stories about her husband. So for all intents and purposes, we'll call that white woman Karen. It's not true. Her husband was a free man and a businessman. There's some interesting creative imaginative renderings of the relationship between Phyllis Wheatley and her husband. And although these are fictional love letters, they're really beautiful and a, a great example of black love in a historical context. So those are our black founders. And in our documents for the, cl for the class, sorry, I'm jumping around here. You will see that we have for this week, our founders module. And for Wheatley and Merritt, we have a document that explains them, some websites about Phyllis Wheatley and her husband, and also a sermon by John Merritt. There's also a YouTube longer explanation of the Merritt sermon. Then we have Lemuel Haynes. So this is a quiz about Haynes. Uh, this 
the quiz asks some questions about this website, and this is a very short document that Haynes wrote about liberty. Next week, in part because the REACH Act requires us to talk about so-called founders, we have this comparison of Thomas Jefferson with the people that we are learning about this week. So in the interest of keeping it short and sweet, I hope that helps you and have a great week.